Nowadays, the industrialized world relies on crude oil, a versatile but polluting fuel, to meet the continuously growing global energy demand. Crude oil is running out, increasing the need for alternative routes based on natural gas. At present, gasoline global consumption has increased up to 3 million cubic meters per day. The estimated world reserves of natural gas could answer this demand for about 200 years. Out of these reserves of natural gas, about one-third is considered to be stranded due to their small size and remote locations. Indeed, the established processes for natural gas transformation into synthetic fuels require large investments prohibitive for the exploitation of small reserves. Moreover, their location makes gas transportation economically unfeasible. The UKMUL project, amongst several European research initiatives, is aiming at developing an innovative chemical route adapted to the exploitation of such small natural gas reservoirs by converting natural gas into liquids. The UKMUL project proposes a fully integrated industrial process which is self-sufficient with the reuse and the recycling of byproducts at every stage. It converts natural gas to liquids such as gasoline. Initially, natural gas is turned into a convertible gas which can then be transformed into liquid. In this liquid form, transportation and distribution are far simpler as it takes up much less volume and is cost efficient to transport over long distances. An important feature of the UKMOL process is recycling of carbon dioxide byproducts so they are not released into the environment. The microstructured reactor is composed of stainless steel plates. One side of these plates has been coated with the catalyst for the oxidative coupling and the other one with the catalyst for the reforming reaction. They are designed to operate on one side, the exothermic oxidative coupling of the major component of natural gas, methane. On the other side, the unconverted methane is further reformed with carbon dioxide using the heat transferred from the oxidative coupling side. The combination of these two reactions and the use of the heat limit harmful emissions to the environment making the process green and sustainable. By proposing an economic operation at low capacities of 100 kilotons per year, UKMOL will allow the local exploitation of small gas reserves currently unexploited. Moreover, such an innovative route offers a close to zero CO2 emission process thanks to the recycling of byproducts at every stage and the avoidance of natural gas transportation over long distances. The Ukmol plant allows a more sustainable production of fuels and chemicals which are currently produced out of crude oil. They can be used for the manufacturing of a wide range of chemical products such as fuel, concrete, PVC. The Ukmol partnership gathers 17 entities coming from 8 European countries and one non-European country. Eight UKMOL partners are companies with recognized expertise in the field of material development and process engineering. This pool of industrials is supported by four academic partners and five experienced research organizations which brought their extensive knowledge on the various topics encompassed within the S&T scope of the project. Find more about UKMOL on www.ukmol.eu